Today, America's high school seniors got a report card no parent wants to see. The Department of Education found that nationwide, only 26% are proficient in math and 38% are proficient in reading. 92,000 public and private schools were sampled. Ben Tracy does the arithmetic. The nationwide test is given to high school seniors every four years. Cornelia Orr is executive director of the board, which sets the standards for the test. If I were a parent and I was wanting my students to do better so that the country could compete internationally, I would want to see improvement year after year. And we're not seeing that, so it is very disappointing. Thirteen states released their results. Connecticut did the best. But even there, only half of the students were proficient or above in reading, and just 32 percent in math. West Virginia was at the bottom with 28 percent proficient or above in reading and 14 percent in math. There also remains a significant gap in the test results between different racial groups. 47 percent of Asian students were proficient in math. It was 33 percent of white students, but just 12 percent of Hispanic and 7 percent of black students met the standard. We haven't seen the gains that uh, we really want to see. You got the algebra, you plug in the points, you graph it. Daniel you know Gettinger teaches math at a high school near Los Angeles. He was named a teacher of the year and is coaching other educators to make sure their students are proficient in the basics of reading and math. In California, statewide tests show proficiency slipped after a decade of improvement. I hope that teachers, too, measure their success by student success, that they're willing to take risks, to try new things, and to adapt their instruction to the needs of the students, because that's what really makes a difference. Now, a national test is also given to fourth and eighth graders, and they seem to be doing better. Scott, over the past years, since the early 1990s, they've shown slow but steady improvement, especially when it comes to math. Ben Tracy in our Los Angeles newsroom. Ben, thank you.